Hey, welcome back to Buckbridge, where we need more places to sleep because, uh, yeah, not everyone's got somewhere to sleep. People are going to be getting upset about having to share rooms and stuff like that. Uh, and I have an idea for how to do that. Yeah, here's horse on the floor. He's, he's not going to like that, but uh, it is what it is. But I have an idea to do that. And I had it last time by finally moving uh, stuff uh, from here, the storage, like to over here. But I actually, I think this is not where I want it quite. I think I want to put it more like right there. If I have one that's right there and then the other one, if it's right here. Then, uh, they okay, they overlap by one. So let's try that. Yeah, okay. So those two then won't overlap. I'll start just with, um, I'll start just with this one uh, out of out of the two. We'll get that built and we'll get stuff kind of moved over. Uh, and then we can start putting some more bedrooms in here. Now, right now we're working on this wall and this wall is getting close to finished. We have a lot of unhappy people, partly because, um, well, partly because of these problems with the bedrooms, partly because some of these guys have... Um, uh, Abel, yeah, okay. Partly because, yeah, some of these guys have sensory mechanites, uh, partly because of um, somebody died recently. We had Trumbull die, which was really sad. And yeah, all of that is going on. And also, I mean, Jason is doing the growing up here, which is really good. I get the sense it's not going as fast as I would have wanted it, which is a little bit unfortunate, uh, Martin. Okay, yeah, you're still working on the wall, which I like. Uh, I went ahead and, and put in like more detailed plans for little houses. I might actually give Jason a house up here and then he can kind of move. He doesn't have to go very far for like he wakes up and come do this and kind of comes back and forth uh, there as well. It's kind of what I'm thinking anyway. Right, JD's totally healed and JD, I'm hoping, is going to... Um, it's going to do lots of of uh, cooking because cooking needs to get done and it's warmed up in here now so i actually all right so this stuff isn't getting hauled maybe it's okay for right now um okay stove needs to get fixed so martin and you're gonna rest well someone's got to do that uh jd abel what are you sleeping in there for yeah, screwy. Yeah, get get that fixed instead. Um, uh, just not enough beds. Really, really frustrating. And Papa Domo, uh, are you gonna you're gonna have a meal? Are you gonna come and try to recruit Horn here? Come on, come on, Horn. You want to join us? You know you do. It'll be great. Oh, I see. Horn? No, home. Sorry, home uh, is the name. Okay, uh, yeah, all right. Abel, you're, you're, you're crazy, man. You're loco. So let's get this let's get this this sleeping situation sorted out right away. A horse, when you're done eating the... Wait, not horse, Martin. Uh, okay, when you're finished with this bit of limestone here... Good. Uh, no, don't clean the dirt. In fact, I don't... I think it's important right now that you not be focused on cleaning when you don't need to be. I want you constructing and then cleaning. All right, beavers have shown up. Uh, we'll give Abel some hunting to do. We've had them before, I think. Yeah, well, no, these are wild boars. Okay. And Yugi... What are you doing nowadays, Yugi? You're growing and mining. I haven't seen you doing much much in the way of... Okay, yeah, you're growing now. Okay. Uh, the extreme break risk is able. I just... Uh, I just don't know what to do to help the guy, you know? Slept on the ground, slept in the cold, lots of disturbed sleep. Let's give him... For Pete's sake. All right, you know, it's just... Just to make it a little bit better, let's put in some sleeping spots around here. So, um, 
It's not going to be fantastic, but it's going to be something of an improvement. Oh, man. All right. Some people have worked all night long. Some people are probably going to be waking up soon. Uh, Abel, where are you now, man? You're oh, yeah, you're hunting the wild boars, but you're an extreme breaker still. And you're eating raw... Oh, my gosh. And you're having... At least you're sleeping inside for a change, which is, is nice. I kind of... I don't know why you're not following the sleep schedule I've got for you, but I guess you're not. So, okay. Now, all right. So we also want to put in... This should be another priority. We want to put in some blocks. Uh, granite would be just fine. And as someone pointed out, we really... Our block supply is going to last for a while. So horse... Maybe a horse can't haul, though, anyway. So maybe that doesn't really matter, except... Uh, some tattered apparel the horse has got. Looks like it's his power armor. Everything else is pretty good. He's gonna he's gonna want to keep the power armor anyway. So anyway, so we'll, distracted here. Sorry. So we'll get that put in. We'll we'll get uh, some roof area put in, like this, and then we'll get stuff moved from here to here. That'll be our that'll be our next kind of order of business. Um, Daniel's got food poisoning from pork. Actually, what we can do now, I think, maybe, is... Oh, great! A new recruit, JD. Okay, awesome. Well, let me finish this. We'll just go ahead and, and lower the radius. So we already have these areas just set in. Uh, we'll lower the radius, so now horse will wait till some other hauling gets done. Yeah, he'll do some cleaning now and stuff like that. So, JD, welcome to the colony. Um, we'll, uh... Not JD, what am I talking about? Uh, home, who's not home. He is actually going to be... Fry. 76. Fry, welcome to the colony. You were a medieval slave. You grew up pulling carts and digging holes on a medieval world. Simple manual labor is your oldest companion, along with the master's lash. You didn't learn to read until age nine. And then as an adult, you were a lower wage worker. There were a variety of casual jobs, support your family, getting a set of basic hands-on skills. So, uh, you, we, we, you're good at growing, good at mining, 10 for crafting. All of those are really, really good. Let's right now have you working on uh, the constructing first. That's going to be kind of temporary, but I am eager to get this knocked out. And with Abel hunting... And resting. Get the wall done for some safety. Oh, I, uh, uh, Fry also. You're not a great shot, but not, I mean, 90%. Uh, I'd like better. But we've got a weapon for you. So, all right, you're sleeping there right now? All right, I got it. Anyway, good. All right, Martin, I like that. All right, some cargo pods. Are there anything? Just some silver. <laughs> Another in 239 silver. Not going to say no to that. The other thing is mining is not getting done. So maybe... I mean, uh, I like that the growing is getting done. I forgot to put... Let's put it right there. And something else I want to do, actually... Especially right now when we don't have any um, anything else kind of nearby. I want to put a turret right, actually, right there. And my thinking is that even when we, when we have like this wall here, like the turret is basically to, just to defend people who want to just come and raid and steal this and go. But also then when we have a wall here, it... Like, sappers won't want to come to there because they'll see that they'll, they'll know that, well, they're avoiding the turrets. They'll be like, maybe come to up here. I don't have my sapper defenses totally planned out yet, but I think that's like a good start uh, for them. Also, we'll make a stockpile 
what we'll do is we'll copy these settings, we'll paste them over here, and then we'll just delete this zone entirely. But also, let's go ahead and... Oh, summer has begun. So, I want to actually... So, you notice it's summer and it's not cold and all these guys are still wearing uh, winter clothes. And that's because, as far as I can tell, their AI has them put stuff on when they get too cold, but it doesn't have them take stuff off when they get hot. Uh, so, well, summer clothes, we'll just say no toques, and we'll say no parkas. And then we'll just give everyone their summer clothes. Oh, did we actually check what traits... Um, what traits uh, Fry has. So Fry... Oh, also, hold it. Um, I'm forgetting to put these guys on the no drugs, too. There we go. All right. Yeah, Fry... Oh, you're a pyro. Another pyro. Great. And you're neurotic. So those are bad things. Abel is an extreme break risk now. He's visiting the grave. Hopefully that will help him... Cheer up a little bit, uh, a little bit better, a little bit more. But yeah, now he's down to a major, so his target's still really, really low. Let me just see, uh, is he, so he's in intense pain. He's not getting, uh, I'm tempted to maybe put him up to, wait. Okay, all right, it says no medicine because it's all in the wrong spot spot not because there isn't any um and why right, jd are you just not getting cooking done why are we not getting cooking done oh crap alpacas why are they even in there oh geez i need to invert that dang it all right alpacas get out of well, that explains why food keeps going away. The alpacas keep eating it all. All right, JD. Yeah, get get cooking. Um, I, I think hauling is really not getting done. Even though, like, Papa Domo, that is what you do. Oh, you're going to be doing this for a while, huh? Let's actually, I think, let's haul this stuff urgently. I think that's even more important than getting this sorted out. Uh, although Martin, okay, yeah, uh, I like you doing that too. I mean, this wall, I'd be really happy when this is all done. Okay, travelers passing by, I guess when you're on the road, that is a likely thing. Oh, man. Oh, of course we have a zit somewhere. Right here. Alright, it's not gonna actually, well, it might spread a little bit, but you guys should have no problem getting that sorted out. Get it put back in. And then we're also going to want to get um, some power down this way. All right. Oh, Fry is a sad wonder. I would have expected that of Abel. Now, Daniel's really unhappy, too. Dull bar Barrack and your wife, Trumbull, died. Well, I totally understand the whole death of the wife thing. That's, yeah, not, not... A great way to start your day. Oh, and Fry was gonna. I was gonna give you that that weapon, and now I'm not. What are your problems? A without dining table. Oh, I guess yeah. Uh, we should probably, actually. Let's move the dining table over. Let's reinstall all this stuff. Uh, so that, yeah, so we can fit, like, another one in there as well. Okay, and good. It looks like meals are getting made. You know, I'm not sure that I'm really excited about this pemmican bill. I feel, I, you know, I did the math. It looks like nutrition-wise, they should be kind of equally, um, like, useful. But I actually think they're not. I think that it's more efficient to make simple meals in terms of nutrition. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it was just getting all that stuff moved that was the important bit. But, okay, so yeah, good. Stuff is getting moved. Um, I would like 
Papa Domo, can you just do that real quick? Yeah. And while you're at it, do the do the do the the roofing. Yeah, good. Okay. So that that helps that out. Now this that's getting put in. It's not done yet. What I'll do is um Yeah, let's put some power conduit. Let's do it like this. This is going to have to come out. Actually, you know what? This is a little bit dirty but I'm gonna I th I'm gonna do it anyway I'm gonna have this bit of conduit right here and I can by reattaching I think I can bounce back and forth between those two and that's a way I can turn it on and off without anyone having to come and flick so I'm gonna try that and did I actually say to put a oh awesome okay a hospital bed is done we need okay we need a multi-analyzer um Let's see, a long range min mineral scanner. I don't think I want to do, I, don't want, I think that's different than the ground penetrating scanner. And I don't know I'm excited about that. Um, we could maybe tr go for, I don't know, package survival meals. Let's do drug production. We can start making our, um, making our, our medicine into good medicine here in the not too distant future. Uh, all right, Fry is back with us. Really high mood. Wait a minute, hold it. Um, what were your needs? Your your friend oh, your friend Lilith died. Was that someone you came who came in the raid with you? I bet it was. All right, Martin is hauling steel. So okay, uh yeah, some mining was getting done. Not a ton, but a little bit over here, which is good. Uh, it's, actually, this would have been some closer and better mining, probably, to get this done first. So, that that's nice. Like the look of that. Uh, Alright, looks like our power was off for a second. Oh, maybe because this just got built, and so I got turned back on. And, good. I'm pretty actually happy with how this looks. Let's go ahead and, and build another set of rooms. And we've got plenty of sandstone at this point. So let's come across just like this. And then we'll put in doors like that. And so similar to how we have it up here, we'll have it down here. That'll get us three more bedrooms, which I think is what we currently need. And then uh, once this wall is done, maybe I should go ahead and make start making a a little living space up here. I'm thinking maybe. So okay. And and now that this is in, it probably would be a smart idea to put in a. Uh, well, I want what I want to do. I want to put in a miscellaneous uh, comms console. You put it like right here. It's going to need a roof over it. But actually, we could put it right there. And then let's go and make like a kind of a kind of little office here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like, like that. And then actually, I don't like where that currently is. Um, right to there. I kind of like that. That looks uh, not quite symmetric. Let's fix that. I know some of you are OCD. I am as well. You want things looking symmetric. I totally get that. Put some doors there, there, and there. And we'll put a roof over it. And maybe it's also time for another bit of power to run this. Uh, let's see. I mean, given we're not, even that we're not getting our, our steel moved, it looks like we don't have enough steel for it. And maybe it's just not getting done. So yeah, uh, while people sleep here again, I'm going to look over the work, see what's going on there. All right, the morning is coming and... Boy, this wall is almost done. Just, oh, Alpha Beaver never got moved, unfortunately. That's sad. Well, we'll leave him forbidden for now. Um, 
But yeah, look at this. Just just three more to go, and we will have our kind of northern perimeter totally, totally covered. And then, then we just do all our defense here on the south side until we get... But then I think it's time to work on some, some more kind of development in here. Uh, we've got, because of that, because of that um, silver, we could start working on a hospital. Uh, right out, I think, right here. And I might have the hospital like be attached in the same way uh, to, to, to this as like the... Uh, as the hotel is so people can go in here and get herbal medicine when they need to is how I'm thinking about it. But let's just see. So good. So this is on. I just want to see if I reconnect. Yeah, I reconnect to there and it goes off. Oh, it always goes to the closest one. I th it looks like so what? So let's see. Um, so we have one, two, three, one, two, three space and then something right there. So if we go like one, two, three spaces, and one right there. Maybe now it'll jump back and forth. We'll try that as well. Okay, and okay, this is getting done. It might be possible to actually trade and get goods and services that way. Fry, since you're right here, I've been wanting to give you this SMG for a little while now, and now you can, can do it. Um, yeah, do that uh, first. Yeah, get that heavy SMG. And, oh man, this is nice. This is nice. This, this wall, uh, it's not quite completed. Martin. Oh man, those, well, I guess, I mean, it'll get done soon enough. But one thing it def definitely, definitely does is even if, uh, Abel's working on, oh, no, he's not. He's hunting. Uh, even if nothing else, it does make these like choke points. Actually, here's what I think I am going to do. I do want there to be kind of a door here. Let's put in a, um, oh crap, uh, mm, not right there. Because I can't build much further than that. It's about as far as it can go. Let's put in actually a door, uh, structures, I mean, and we'll make it a, uh, let's see. I think granite is much stronger than sandstone. So we'll put a door right there and right there. And then granite like that. One like that. And then it's time for some traps, I think. Our steel supply is still pretty non-existent. So we'll go with just stone traps for now. Uh, but I think... I think granite traps will do pretty well. Okay, so 68 are the max. Wait, hold it, no. 39 is the melee damage. So marble is 36. Limestone is 36. And sandstone, I think, is even less. 30. So definitely granite. And then our guys, because we're in and out and in and out, but then if raiders, like, try to path... I mean, they might just attack that door, but whatever. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, made, it makes sense inside my head. We'll see if that's useful or if it's a waste of blocks. But, but yeah, okay, we'll do, we'll do that. And we got this stuff. Okay, this is all built. That's getting worked on. This is not quite done. Ne still need some more steel. So I think definitely we need more mining to happen. Daniel is still understandably upset because uh, his wife died. He's within like a, a month, you know, a, a, a quadrum of, of getting that debuff taken off. But I mean, that's a big deal. It's a really big deal. Let's see. Did this work the way I wanted it to now? So it's on. Now it's off. Now it's on again. Okay, good. So you can you can kind of like you can't kind of switch it on and off that way. Uh, that'll just be helpful. It won't take up energy when it doesn't need to, but then, you know, when it does need to, we have a way of kind of turn it on. Now, who again? Our warden is Papa Domo. She's kind of best with people. All right. Looks like there is nobody um, uh, hanging uh, hanging around in the sky, and I haven't been expanding the home area. Uh, kind of automatically, so I should probably do that manually. Just 
to have it cover this and, you know, all of the, actually probably have it cover all of this so they'll put out fires. And maybe, I mean, probably, you know what I should do else actually is, well, I should, I should put some flooring in there, but I should wait until I think these are all finished before I, I do that. But yeah, almost everything is moved. And I think that's, that's going to be really helpful having that kind of switched out that way. All right. Item stash opportunity, 24 hours. He'll tell us the location for 187. Oh, okay. For 187 silver, uh, we'll get to be told where this is. He doesn't know what might or might not be guarding the stash. They have a steel shiv, a granite shiv, a steel gladius, a machine pistol that's poor, an incendiary launcher that's normal, an assault rifle that's poor, a triple rocket launcher that's normal, and EMP grenades. I mean, eh, the EMP grenades are not terrible. I don't tend to love them that much personally. I'm not really a big EMP grenade type of guy, but I get it. Like, I don't... They have their uses. Uh... The triple rocket launchers, I'm really not sold. They're a one-use thing, and I almost never use them because I never know, like, is this the time when it's a good idea to use it or not? And then, uh, yeah, not... Uh, I think I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to skip it. I'm just going to... I'm going to let it... Uh, now, how would I actually do it, though? If I click on it, does that make it happen? I see. It gives me this little thing right here. I'll just hit postpone. I've got... A bit of time to change my mind. And I would like to... Oh, a party. I like that. Oh, malaria. I hate that. Who has malaria? Jason, uh, Abel, and JD. All right. Uh, Jason. Abel. And JD. Oh, man. Jason. Abel. Um, and JD. And each of you will be getting some good medicine for this man alive. Uh, let's see. You're 23. Let's see. Oh, 59% immune. I like that. Jason, JD, you're 44. And Abel, you're 27. And I don't think it's worth giving you... I mean, uh, my penicillin would put your immunity up to like maybe 60. I don't think it's worth giving that to you guys, though. Oh, it's a fourth one. Horse. Dang it. Um, all right, here's what we're going to do. Let's deconstruct that. Let's reinstall this right here. Daniel, get that moved. And then horse, where are you? Oh, you're way over there, dang it. And horse, how old are you? You're 25 as well. A lot of young people. Not everyone is young, but a lot of young people. That's going to burn through my medicine really really fast and Abel's really unhappy I probably shouldn't have him uh, sharing sharing a room but anyway all right yeah go get the medicine oh man let's get these guys tended and then you got oh you're partying here around the fireplace which probably should oh man and Daniel you oh jeez. I want you to be able to have this party, but these guys have got to get tended to. All right, number two. Oh, and Daniel missed it, I bet. He didn't get his... He didn't get his... Uh, his benefit from the party, and if anyone needed it, he did. Well, I'm glad I didn't start out on a... on a... on an expedition here. And now, tend a horse... And that's going to have to be it for today. That's all the time I have. So hopefully we come back, we can save these guys from 
you know, an awful death. Yeah, Abel and Horace are chatting with each other. So that's a nice thing. Abel's starving. He's getting fed. So, yeah, 63% immunity. Um, 60% immunity. 63 and 64. So hopefully these guys will pull through. Don't want to lose any more colonists, but it, it might happen. It might, might happen. But that's all the time I have for today. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.